Recently I released a video on what happens when you dig straight down in Minecraft with a few minor errors concerning my initial goal. In it I said that I'll do a video about the best Y level to dig at for every ore, and here we are. A question that many people have probably asked and I have the answers. I'm sure many people have already done this, but this is a follow up to the previously mentioned video, link in the description. Let's begin with some known facts. Ores have a range in which they can spawn, most below sea level because there's more ground there. Coal can spawn between Y0 and 132, iron up to Y64, lapis and gold up to Y34 unless in a mesa, where gold can spawn up to Y80, redstone and diamond up to Y16, and emerald up to Y33. This data can be found on the Minecraft wiki, again link in the description. If you've seen the last video then you know where this will be going, but if not let me explain. To get the most accurate results, I need as much data as I can reasonably get. I could just go to a random world and start mining at a specific Y level for a few thousand blocks and see what I get, and then move on to another Y level. The maximum speed at which we can mine is 20 blocks per second assuming the right conditions, so if we take 60 Y levels and a thousand blocks for each it will take 50 minutes, 60 if we're more realistic. However this is very little data and I would want at least a thousand times more, so this will very quickly turn from 1 hour to 1000 if I want more accurate results. So instead of doing this manually, like in the last video I will be using Python to automate this, by reading the world files and getting the data directly from them. Like last time I will be using a module I found on GitHub, link in the description, which is able to read the Minecraft files, making them easier to work with. It's still not fully released so some features are missing, but it's enough for what I want to do. Last time I made the mistake of thinking that simpler code will work, however I realised my mistake too late, so this time I am going to do what I had initially planned last time, by getting every single ore vein into a list, with every block coordinate stored, and then I will be able to see how many blocks you are able to find by digging at a specific Y level. Now that I knew what I wanted to do, it was time to get to code. I am able to reuse the automatic well generator from last time because it needs to do the exact same thing, the rest has to pretty much be completely redone. Update. Mojang have just changed ore generation and probably not for the last time. However, what concerns this project the most is the data they released. This graph shows ore generation for 116 and earlier, so I guess that answers all the questions already. Here's what I'll do, I'll continue with this project to see how accurate those graphs are, and I'll do this again later to see how accurate the new graph is. Ok so I'm doing my first full test and I was hoping that everything will go smoothly, however after many hours I realised there's a tiny mistake in my code which will completely ruin it all. 
I then realized that this is just taking way too long because as the list of ore veins grows, the longer it takes to search trees and wool to see if a new block should be added to them. So I put a limiter on how far back it can search and that seems to have made it much better, being able to finish in about an hour. I later realized that for some reason it was running a 32-bit application which is much slower than 64-bit, but I didn't know what was up with that as I no longer have a 32-bit installation of this Python version, so I should dig into that later. Okay, so it's been a few months since I wanted to get this video done and I finally have all my data and after running a final analysis on it to add everything up for every Y level, the results were quite interesting. Now I bet you were expecting for all of this data to be presented in a really shiny way on a graph. Well, you'd be almost correct, because this time I actually went and put a little bit more effort into the presentation of this data. It's still an Excel sheet, however this time I've let Excel do its thing and make it look pretty. Before we jump into it, let me explain what everything is. The row number here indicates the Y level which we are digging, so this is the very bottom Y1, where there's a lot of bedrock obviously. Uh, Y0 I didn't bother including that because, well, you can't dig at that Y level, it's, well, zero, it's just pure bedrock. And this stretches all the way to 80, which is what I was looking at the numbers at for. Um, I only went up to 80 because after that, well, as I guess, there isn't much data there. And the colors of the cells represent how good the Y level is for digging for that specific ore. Furthermore, each cell has a bar on it, and that represents the total result compared to the highest result. So, for example, this is coal, and the absolute place to dig at is right there. And that is completely 100% full, and the rest of it is kind of like just compared to it. Um, and then after that, I also highlighted the top 10% for each ore type, which makes it easier to see where the best place is to dig at. So now let's take a look at the data. So here we have coal, which I already explained a bit. Best, the absolute best place to dig at is Y14. Uh, Y15 is very close by, and then just this whole 13 to 16 region is pretty good. And then there's also quite a, it's quite good over here as well, but not as good. And you'd, you're just better off digging here because you have more chances of finding better ores as well. Next we have iron. Uh, this was a little bit surprising. I thought the best would be like towards the bottom as well. But actually it's all concentrated right over here between Y23 and Y28. It's, qu it's quite flat everywhere else as you can see here. However it does fall off as you get higher up and lower down. Next we have redstone, which in my opinion is probably one of the more useful ores, and the absolute best Y level to dig out for it is at Y level 8, with a very steep decline where else you can dig for it. Next we have gold. Uh, this is gold throughout the normal world, no mesa whatsoever, somehow. And the graph is pretty flat throughout here, however the best places were 7 and 8, and also 24. However, digging anywhere here really is equally as good, it's within 1%, within half a percent maybe, of 
the absolute best so it really doesn't matter if you're digging in a normal world that's not a mesa biome next we have diamond uh, the absolute best is Y7. Now, for a long time, we've been digging at Y11 because, well, that's why that's where lava level is. And although it's within 10% of the Y11, it's still best to get Y7, even though there is a higher risk of running into lava. Next up, we have Emerald. Um, now, take this with a pinch of salt because this isn't much data. Much like gold, it's pretty flat throughout. However, the absolute best I found was at Y29, and the next best two were at Y20 and Y10. Now, the final ore that I actually found to be very similar to the graph that we got from Yang is Lapis. As you can see here, it is pretty damn similar to what the graph from Yang is. It's a nice little curve with the absolute best being at Y13. I'm not sure what the best one was from the graph that Mayuan gave us, but this is what I got. Now quickly before we move on to the special biomes, I want to look at the spawners. Um, spawners were quite interesting. For most of the time, it's like pretty rare to see them much above Y49. As you can see here, there's barely anything there. And then after that, it starts to pick it up a little bit. And then like, whoa, that when 50, 70, 84 being the best at Y23, and then just quickly declines as well back to zero. So this is for the normal world generation, and a few mountains were put in there, but nothing too serious that you could like really get much data from. Okay, and so now it's no secret to anybody that gold spawns higher up in the mesas than it does in normal terrain. If I expected the gold to be as common everywhere else below ground as it is up higher, but as you can see, there's barely anything there, and most of the gold is concentrated above, well, ab above Y35, really, up, up around here, and the absolute best was very surprising to me at Y65. Look, look at that, look at that, that's so weird. It kind of like goes up and down here like a roller coaster, and then whoa, there's a massive one there, and then it just dies down as you go higher up, which is no surprise because well, there's there's less land the higher up you go. Uh, spawners wise, because you get a lot of mine shafts further up in the mesa biomes, there's a very high concentration of spider spawners, and so the best Y level to dig out for spider spawners specifically is Y66. Now let's take a look at the mountains. So this is the emerald distribution in a mountain. This is slightly more data than what we had here, but it's still not a whole lot. As you can see, it's still very flat. However, this time, the absolute best was, in fact, all the way down here at Y6. However, these two are just so close behind that, well, unless you were digging for diamonds and emeralds, I wouldn't really be digging over here. I'd be dig digging for emeralds up here, where there's more of them and less lava. And then, because mountains go higher up spawners, well, there's barely anything down here. And then, the absolute highest was at Y45. That was a bit surprising, but again, this isn't, this isn't much data compared to what we had for the rest of the world. And, well, th this just isn't much data. I, I can't really say anything definitive, but higher up, there are more spawners than in the rest of the world. As you can see, 9 to 1, that's big difference. And that's pretty much all of the data I have. Wow, that was actually very interesting. For years I've been digging at Y11, not even giving a thought to what the real best Y level is for each ore. And although I'll probably continue to dig at Y11, at least I now know the truth, and hopefully so do you. Next time I will be looking at the nether side of all this, to see the best Y level for each nether ore, and what happens when you dig straight down in the nether. Shouldn't be any surprises there really. Now last time I did also say I'll be looking at what really happens when you dig straight down, but I wasn't really bothered with running an analysis on the data for that. Because although last time I didn't get the results I wanted, they will be pretty close to the initial question of what the chances are of uncovering types of wars, and if at some point I do bother to get said information, it will be in the description. And on that note, it's about time to end the video, so thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more, and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss anything out. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.